Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to support the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. McGovern from Carlton has one of the worst flops of the year. I really hope he gets a fine for this because this is just ridiculous. Zorko with a great one arm mark. All Saints on that leaderboard is Zorko! What about that mark? Borders. Zorko! What about that mark? Fisher shows that sometimes it's best to hold on to the ball and to take your time and make the right decision. Onto the right boot, might have kicked a goal, hands. A little bit of magic from Zach Fisher. Some really interesting observations here by Derm. Sean Darcy, I mean, Nick Natanu is a much bigger specimen as an opponent, but I don't think Nick can travel around all that well these days, given his age and, and the size he is, but Darcy's just, he's like an oversized wombat. It's just huge. <laughs> I'm not sure if that, is that a compliment or not? Yes, is. yes, for a Roman it is. Oh, yeah. He's like an oversized wombat. Gaff smartly runs into the fence after being pushed once the ball is out. This is an easy free kick. He's just too smart. In the game, at least make a positive action like attack. Nelson and Brayshaw continue with their hostilities. As ball's out of play. Much better by... After Gorn takes a great mark in the forward 50, one umpire calls mark and the other umpire, Matt Stevick, calls play on. And you can see Gorn is very confused. And Brayshaw said, don't do it. Their umpire called the mark. Stand. Matt Stevick yeah. at the top of the screen went to call play on. The Carlton defenders punch the ball from behind the 9 metre mark and this is a clear insufficient intent to keep the ball in. Whether it went through for a point or out of bounds, it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be insufficient attempt and that's exactly as you said, it's just the pressure build up. Get the left foot working here, he's miscued badly. Carlton fans love him. Get the left foot working here, he's miscued badly. Carlton fans love him. Dangerfield takes a mark inside the forward 50 and he too shanks it. As it turned out, Bew's appetite for the football was strong and his delivery, despite the double grab from Dangerfield and the nice strong. Stewart doesn't have enormous confidence. He's giving me a little offering right of the left. But Danger's going to take it on. It's a horrible run up. He does. He hooks from distance, so he's just got to rely on that. Does that on the left? But Danger's going to take it on. Caleb Sarong gives away a 150 metre penalty. I've never seen that before. I think two were for head high hits and the last was for descent. Yeah, That's going to be a free. Yeah. Sarong and Redden. Sarong not happy. It's a jumper punch. 150 penalty. Not 50, not 100. 150 metre penalty. Three against Caleb Sarong. To join into the scuffle. No love lost. West Coast, the underdogs have come with a fighting mentality. Go, and it is right up here. Here we go. Well, they can't go the 666 rule if they try and bounce Wait, it because go, both teams, who do they award it to? The umpires are trying to control this so they can restart the game, but they can't on the 666 rule. Lynch takes a great mark and then he tries to pass the ball on and it's an absolute shake. Almost drags it down, he has. Really? Uh, eight is his career highest. Contested marks, five contested marks. He doesn't take it on. That's an interesting one. Don't know why, I must have just thought he's a fraction too far out. Marks. He doesn't take it on. Dwayne Russell is probably one of the better commentators we have. And it's on behind play. Jonas Parrish, Stringer and Tarzan. Yeah, I think it was post. Charlie Dixon just absolutely strips the ball off of Caldwell. Spanks it, but straight to Martin. Can't quite corral it. Corbell, pocket pick by Charlie. And they're out here, Port Adelaide. Like corral it. Corbell, pocket. I think Finlayson will only get a fine for this dangerous tackle. Rosie still fighting hard. Wines knows only one way. McGrath. Ooh, Finlayson. Dangerous tackle. Dangerous tackle. Don't go in, don't go in. 
Said his jumper ripped off okay. earlier on in the game no, for Lyson, so he's been fired you're up. Knows only one way. McGrath. Ooh. Finlayson. I have a few issues with this one. Johnson oversteps the mark, so it should have been 50 metre penalty or he should have been told to come back before McCartan played on. Then the umpire does call play on and he takes the ball over under immediate pressure. This, I don't believe, should have been a free kick. I could be wrong. Let me know. Umpire Williamson has determined this would be... You've marked the ball. Oh, I didn't hear him up. I've blown the whistle for a mark play on. Carol's on him in a flash. Little soccer off the ground lands with McCartan. Play on, play on. Oh, and he is hassled by... The ending to the Melbourne Carlton game was something to behold. Cosy Pickett, you just can't give him any room. Easily for Motlock. May beaten to it. Now a chance for Hunt. It's a long ball towards Brown. Off hands. Melcham been terrific all night. Pickett kicks. Is it a point or a goal? It's a goal. And the Blues fans' hearts break all around the country. Melcham been terrific all night. Pickett kicks. Is it a point or a goal? We see this happen almost every week now. Dougal Howard punches the ball over once it's been called play on, and it's a free kick to the opposite team. Prior kicks for goal, and he shanks it. Dover and deliberately. Dougie, was it stiff or not? But prior. Can run around and make this a really good start. It's the wrong side of the ball. Pryor can run around and make this a really good start. It's the wrong side of the ball. Crouch will probably be missing two weeks for this head high hit on Gardner. And hit late. There's a mark to hit one anyway. It'll come for Crouch. I think he's in trouble, Gardner, JB. News on the wing, let's have a look. That's not good, I don't think. That's head contact with a bump. Oh, that's weak. And it could have been a Some more interesting commentating here. Looking at that blow to Daniel Rich. Hodgins built like a wombat. Let's go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, they're just thick everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a solid boy, Richie. It was, a, it was a good, hard effort from both players. Isn't it? But he's up and about. Looking at that blow to Daniel Rich. Hodgie's built like a wombat. Let's go wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're just thick everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a solid boy, Richie. I feel like Gold Coast had a pretty bad run with the umpires on the weekend. This is only one example. They probably weren't going to win against Geelong anyway, but this one was hard to watch. Forward pocket, floats it, Menegola, the man under it. He stole it from Lukosius. Picked his pocket and goal. Forward pocket, floats it, Menegola, the man under it. He stole it.